You want to go to the next level of antioxidants and deep cleansing? InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. And the big blanket site is InfoWarsStore.com. And it's got everything from the highest quality preparedness foods, from My Patriot Supply discounted, the full spectrum, to cook stoves, to mini cook stoves, to gun accessories, uh, to the best uh, survival implements, uh, the best non-GMO seeds, books, videos, Made in America, Patriot Apparel. And your purchases of the products makes the entire transmission possible. In closing, we do have the Hillary for Prison shirt. Looks like a normal presidential shirt on the front. On the back, it says legalize freedom. So you can explain to people about Infowars.com. Great way to spread the word and try to bring this woman that makes Nixon look like an angel to justice. That's also at Infowarsstore.com. And then finally, please spread the word about our local AM and FM affiliates. Become a sponsor. Support their sponsors. But most importantly, spread the word about the affiliates. I cannot tell you how important that is in the fight. If you want to thank me for what I'm doing, I want to thank you for your support and spreading the word. And I want to thank you for supporting our local AM and FM affiliates. I mean, listen, we're, we're going to lose everything if, 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 if patriots don't put out the full push. We've beat them on their gun grabs. We've beat them on so many issues. So they're just opening the borders, flooding us, shutting off our power plants, putting in regulations to shut down jobs, forcing Obamacare through to break our political and financial back. They need to break us right now because they know we're on the verge of a massive political realignment. And they admit that themselves. So that's why they're being so naked. It's a, it's a con game. Yeah, you can't say father or mother. You know, wearing the pants as a man is racist or, and, and hateful. Um, it's government and, and global social engineers getting in your family, getting in your life, trying to sabotage you at the cellular political level, at the, at the family level. This is a revolution takeover. They're not going to keep all this in place once they've taken over. It's going to be very fascist. They're going to cut back most of the welfare and dependency. You'll just have a government-appointed job that you work your butt off at. It'll be very paramilitary. It'll be drone-operated. It's a very scary future that's coming. But right now is the spoiling and the rottening. Right now is the getting all the dumb collaborators and boobs and... Uh, fools and everybody else that are foundation funded to bring the country down. And the exact same tactics are being used in Europe. So we see the arrogance and the floodgates being opened. That's because they are trying to compress being 15 years behind in their agenda, 15 years into two or three years. So that's why all hell's breaking loose. That's why suddenly, yeah, we're setting up world government. If you don't like it, we'll arrest you. Yeah, we're going to give you forced inoculations. Yeah, we're going to have world taxes and world regulations. Yeah, we're banning uh, your kid picking up, you know, tomatoes in your garden. That's child labor. Yeah, we're banning lemonade stands. Yeah, we're telling your kids don't listen to your parents. Yeah, we got green police. Yeah, we've got your computer watching you at home and tracking everywhere you go. They're just throwing the gauntlet down. Yeah, we're going to bring millions of illegals a year and legalize them into Europe and just make you accept them. And if you try to protest it, we're going to arrest you. That's Associated Press in Poland and Germany. And now France says, somebody wants to carjack your car, you give it to them if they're an illegal. No police reports are filed, nothing's done. There's videos and photos, old ladies being drug out of cars, jihadis posted on their Facebooks. Hey, women, you know, I'm in Prague now, I'm in Berlin now. You want a hot jihadi? Here I am. And they post on their Facebook, I'm here, I'm a refugee. Now, ladies, let's party. And the welfare is given to them, boom, and it's done. Posing with rocket launchers and machine guns. And then when they attack, when there's terrorist attacks, you will lose your freedoms. You will lose your basic liberties. You will have your rights taken to keep you safe. And you'll probably be screened. Like when I've been in Europe, I just find it ironic that it's hardcore practicing Muslims, women with their hands covered, their, their, their faces covered on the sides, searching me. And I'm not against Muslims in general, but radical Islam is being 
given the power by Saudi Arabia and the West to take over, bully everyone into it, and then you go to England, you go to Germany, you go to Spain, you go to Italy, and you're there, and half the people screening you, sometimes more, are folks that can't hardly speak English or can't speak Spanish, and they're grabbing your genitals. And America and Europe deserves to be conquered. We deserve to be overrun. We deserve to be slaves because we are. We're slack-jawed, pathetic slaves that don't stand up for the Constitution and that don't deserve freedom. I hate to be nasty about it, but it's true. Donald Trump struck a nerve when he pointed out that Latin America is collapsing. They have 100,000 dead people in nine years in Mexico. It's unraveling. And we've got millions of illegals a year coming in here, people having their babies for free, everything paid for, a lot of them criminals. And Donald Trump points that out, and they act like it's crazy. Why, he said the sky is blue and that the sun is yellow. And he told that fish swim in the ocean. He's crazy. And they all act like it's wild and upturn reality, invert reality. We're going to go out to break with Donald Trump saying we've got to accept the immigrants. You know, he tells the truth about these Arab countries and African countries won't take them, but that we've got to because we have the moral high ground. The whole world's collapsing into depression. We can't take billions of people, especially if they're put on welfare. This is suicide. Let's go to the clip. Well, it's a serious problem. We haven't seen anything like it since the Second World War, and it's getting worse and worse. And I was actually impressed in one way, but surprised that uh, Merkel in Germany allowed this to happen because they're really flowing through all over Europe. And if you notice, uh, Russia's not taking and China's not taking and the Gulf states, whether you look at Saudi Arabia or Qatar or any of them, they're taking none. But some of them are, and some of them are actually being very generous. Uh, it just really, I wonder, you know, Impossible. where all these... Really, Donald, being generous with the Germans that pay some of the highest taxes in Europe, or the French that pay 84% on average for people to come in and get put on welfare? I mean, you read the scams that third world immigrants run all across the place. Somalis up in Minnesota... Uh, Afghans uh, in Germany. I mean, they just don't pay the taxes. They don't. They do whatever they want. They run black market operations, and they get welfare. And then, oh, I want to commend Merkel. She's so generous. Hey, Trump, shut your fat mouth, you punk. I knew you'd start flip flopping. My gut told me something. How about you give your five billion dollars to him? Okay. I'm telling you, man. He was against abortion. Then he was for it, then he was against it, all the rest of it. He loves Hillary Clinton. When Google put out a press release to its shareholders saying we're going to use the microphones and cameras on computers to listen to everything going on in your house and watch it and then put it into an algorithm. So if we hear a dog barking was the example, we will then have dog food or dog accessory ads pop up on your computer. Then we saw in California and Pennsylvania and other areas where kids would be at home with their government-issued laptops, and then one girl was eating Skittles on her bed in her nightgown, and the teacher called the police on her. And they said, yeah, we watch you at home. They didn't tell anybody. It's not creepy. See, they just do it in plain view. And then I was just talking to Joe Jennings, and Marcos Morales has noted this too, with the Max in our office. We'll be talking about something but it knows what it's listening to. It only samples sometimes. This is now all admitted. But they go, oh, it's not a person. It's a computer with keyword. I want to get a new bed. I was thinking about, you know, getting one maybe with like black leather. And then a black leather bed, an hour later, pops up in an ad. Joe Jennings' car, he hadn't searched it. Let's talk about it right now. I'll talk about Donald Trump more. Joe Jennings has a Samsung phone. Samsung, in its terms of agreement, with its cell phones and its TVs, going back a year and a half ago, Put in the terms of service, watch what you say and do. We're listening, we're watching, and selling it to third parties. So he hadn't even searched yet on his phone. He was checking the weather. He hadn't even searched yet on his phone for a battery. His car battery was dead. He rode it on his motorcycle this morning. And it had car battery ads for him. Coincidence? No. Because I can show you their announcements they're doing. Let's go to Joe Jennings. 
Uh, Joe, again, people know this is Big Brother, so they have a tendency to say, oh, this isn't happening. But everyone I know the last few years this is happening to, where it knows what's going on in your house, where it knows what you're saying, and then they admit they're doing it, but still people can't believe it, Joe. Yeah, it's just kind of weird. I mean, uh, usually I can understand if you're typing it in and, you know, you're you're searching on the web or whatever. It's, yeah, they admit you know, cookies analytic. are doing that. Yeah. But I had not searched car batteries today. Didn't search anything like that. Just mentioned today to CJ and the guys that uh, I had to ride my bike in because the battery in my car died. And then when I searched the weather to see what I'm going to ride home in, a uh, car battery ad comes up. 60% off car batteries. Need a battery? It's just kind of weird. Well, the first time it happens, you're like, oh, that's a coincidence. How about the 30th or 40th? It's constantly happening. Oh, yeah. And that's, you know, I got the newer Samsung phone, so it really listens to you. Well, they admit it is. I mean, I want new listeners to understand. It's a normal response to go, this is crazy. It's not happening. This guy's nuts. Look it up. There's an Infowars.com article. Just type in Samsung TVs, admit they're listening, and we can put it on screen. I forget the exact headline, uh, but it was from last year. And this is really going on. Just like I told you five years ago in the Obama deceptions that they're going to ban the word mother and father, and now they're doing it. I'm going off what the globalists say they're going to do. Samsung responds to privacy concerns over TVs recording personal conversations. Yeah, that's the second article when they responded to us. Go to the original article. And, and they even have a video tutorial There'll be a link in that article. Put it back up and I'll show you. There it is. Samsung admits private conversations being sent to internet server. Smart TVs prompt privacy backlash. And I was told by a Time Warner executive, a high-level engineer, in 1997 that the Scientific Atlantic digital cable boxes that were coming in had a microphone in them and that it was being listened to. He also told me DVRs would soon come out to record shows that they watch what we watch in algorithms. That came out a few years later. We broke it apart. I did on TV and showed people I got death threats. Okay, so they didn't want you to know about this. We'll be back with the whole Donald Trump thing. And then we got a special GCN. guest in studio. Visit GCNlive.com Donald Trump today. says Germany's generous. Take all the elite. We've got the great crew back there in the control room flipping all the switches deep in the heart of Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide. Look, I want to support Donald Trump. What he's been saying has been true. My problem is, is that he's flip-flopped so much, talking about how much he loves Hillary Clinton in the past, been for abortion. I, I just don't trust him. But as he champions liberty causes, you have to defend what he's saying because they're trying to destroy him, even if he is a straw man. Well, now he's come out and pointed out that all these other countries won't take all these Islamicists filled with ISIS and Al-Qaeda people. That's now admitted. And he says, Merkel's being very generous and he commends Germany and that we need to take some of these immigrants. That's what Obama's about to do. So I would much rather take Latin American or Chinese immigrants, even if they're getting free welfare and stuff, than radical jihadist filled groups. They, I mean, Al-Qaeda admits they're putting their people in these groups in mass, and now we have photos of them with rocket launchers and machine guns today on Infowars.com. It's a sensational article. We got to get it out to everybody. In fact, I want to do a Facebook mentions um, during the next break. Buckley, I want you to go back right now if you're listening. I know you're doing work. Talk to the sheriff's candidate as he walks in. I want it live as we meet and stuff. And then during another break, I'm going to be doing the Facebook mentions at our main Facebook talking about this because It's just insane to have images show jihadist militants entering Europe as refugees, as ISIS promised they would do. That needs to go mega viral. It's on Infowars.com right now. But here, here's Donald Trump. And, you know, I don't want to call him a punk. But he's really smart. He's one of the slickest speakers I know. He knows full well what he's doing. And I warn people, Rand Paul needs to be radical now. And then if he has to moderate to get the presidency later, that's the strategy to win. Not be moderate now and then be radical later. Because I know Rand Paul's good. If he plays a little politics, I, I'm not really for it, but I, I understand it. With Trumpus, he was always basically a Democrat before and a Hillary lover and involved in a bunch of shenanigans until now. And so that's why I've said watch it. 
here is the clip. Just, 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 just play. 